As you guys requested in the Facebook group, I'm going to show you the before and after of how I edited this photo with the bright and airy preset. I am on my laptop using the Lightroom Classic version. This preset is also available in mobile. So, um, although this was the photo we posted for the before and after in the Facebook group, I'm going to go ahead and edit this one to show you since um, it has not been edited yet. So I'm going to start with, there's Bright and Eerie. I kind of like the Bright and Eerie warm, let's see, just going through kind of finding, I actually don't remember which one I used um, previously. I'm going to go ahead and stick with bright and airy. So I'm going to bump up the exposure even a little bit more. And then um, I'm going to come down here to your HSL panels and I'm going to uh, select the orange for skin tones. I'm going to bump up the saturation. And then bring up the luminance just a little bit, maybe even pull the saturation up a little bit more. Just kind of adjust these, you know, play with them, go back and forth, see what they do, uh, see what looks best to you. And then I'm going to add in a little bit more magenta to the white balance at the very top. Her skin tones still look a little bit off to me, so I'm going to kind of just keep playing with this part. Okay, I feel a little bit better about that. Then I'm going to go over here to the graduated filter selection up here. This is just my settings from where I've had it previously, um, and I'm going to add in some light. Now, most of my photos, if you know, my work is very bright and airy, um, but sometimes I like to add in some extra. Sometimes it's a, you know, it's a rainy day or there's not enough light or whatever. So this is something I use quite a bit, not all the time, but I do use it to add in some more light. So this, that's a little bit too much for that, for that one. So I'm just going to reduce that there. So there you can already see the difference that that makes. So see if you were to bring it all the way up or all the way down, that's kind of kind of what it does there. Okay, so I'm going to come back in. So the light source was behind us. Uh, there is a window behind this tent. So unfortunately, we didn't get any catch lights in her eyes. So I'm going to take our adjustment brush and I'm just going to paint in a very small amount of light to her eyes. Now, if I was in Photoshop, I could do quite a bit more with this, but just for the sake of simplicity and showing you guys what we're doing here in Lightroom only, um, I'm just going to stay in Lightroom. Okay, so now you can, it brightens up her eyes a little bit. So the next thing I'm going to do is come in here with our healing brush. And I'm going to kind of clear up her face a little bit. Her face is chapped from all the drool with the teething. Oops. So I'm just removing these little red chapped spots from her little face. Okay, so that one is too big. Okay, I'm going to pull back out. And that's what that looks like. I'm also going to straighten it just a tad. Whoops. I did all my settings there. Okay, so there you have it. There is the before and after. 
Also the before and after of this one. And there you go.